This is a KYMA.com digital update. The family of a Yuma woman found brutally murdered is sharing their grief. Wilder's mother spoke with KYMA on Thursday. Her mother remembers her as someone who has always brightened her day. The family has created a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. The Chandler Fire Department reports a print shop explosion blew the roof off a strip mall in a Phoenix suburb Thursday. Firefighters confirmed with AZ family that at least four people were injured. An unidentified witness said, All of a sudden, I hear like a sonic boom. All my windows shook like, like I was shaking. Like what happened? Emergency officials report crews evacuated all 15 business, including a preschool, from the strip mall. Southern Arizona is seeing one of its wettest months in years, which is causing trouble at several parts of the southern border. The heavy rains have caused debris to pile up on the border fence, making it impossible to close, prompting many people to illegally cross over the border. The local sheriff's department says they see around seven illegal entries on their cameras every single hour, but county officials say closing the gates and letting debris pile up there could cause problems with private properties in the area. The Somerton Cocopa Fire Department has confirmed firefighters responded to a call of a 10-year-old boy found dead near County 15th Street and Levy Road. Firefighters say the call came in Wednesday at 8.11 p.m. They responded to a call of a 3-year-old who was found in that area. The 3-year-old was alive and taken to Yuma Regional Medical Center. According to the Center of Disease Control, over 38 million coronavirus-related cases have been tracked within the U.S. California accounts for about 11% of national cases, while Arizona accounts for about 2%. The CDC states that over 44 million vaccines have been delivered, with Arizona making up about 1.6% of doses administered, and California representing about 10%. For the latest stories and your full weather forecast, head over to KYMA.com or download our free mobile news app. I'm Marcos Icahuate. See you next time.